Hi there, welcome to a short overview on the differences between the innate and adaptive immune systems. This is the very first video of my immunology series. In fact, the very first video of this channel, Breathing Bio. Let's have a look. So let's imagine the immune system to be the army of the human body or host. Think of innate immunity as the forgetful soldier, no memory, merely rushing off to war and fighting left, right and centre, acting rapidly in every sense of the word, no specific target. In fact, this section goes at anything not belonging there, in other words, foreign invaders. Your adaptive immunity, on the other hand, is far more specialised, in fact, almost like an intelligence unit of the military. Their fighting skills are far more specific, far more targeted at specific foreign invaders. They take time to respond as they are far more calculated, planning every step as they go. Now, let's get into the finer details of comparing innate and adaptive immunity. The innate immune system is exactly that, innate. It is inborn, intrinsic, untaught, unlearned. You are born with innate immunity. On the other hand, adaptive immunity is acquired after antigen exposure. That means this immunity only develops after the host has been exposed to the antigens on the pathogen, in other words, the invading microorganism. Next, we need to remember that innate immunity is rapidly activated. On the other hand, adaptive immunity is slower to respond. In the same vein, it is important to remember that innate immunity is short-lasting and adaptive immunity is long-lasting. Another the two important distinguishing factors of innate immunity is based around specificity and immunological memory. The innate immune system shows no specificity and no memory. In contrast, adaptive immunity shows high specificity towards antigens on pathogens. In addition, memory cells are produced alongside effector cells. Through this, memory cells are reactivated quickly upon reinfection with a specific pathogen. This allows the adaptive immune system to remember a specific pathogen years after first encountering it. Of note is that this immunological memory is the entire basis of vaccinations, actually very relevant to our current situation with COVID-19. Next, innate immunity's degree or intensity of response is completely independent of antigen exposure. In contrast, adaptive immunity's intensity is directly proportional and thus dependent on antigen exposure. Very important. So the more the adaptive immunity is exposed to an antigen, the stronger the immune response that is mounted. Lastly, with regards to the cells and proteins involved in these immune systems, innate immunity depends on various phagocytes and complement proteins. Adaptive immunity, on the other hand, centers around B and T lymphocytes. We can discuss these cells and proteins in detail in subsequent videos. A very important aspect to keep in mind in this discussion is that innate and adaptive immunity work in concert with each other to produce the best possible outcome. That is, identifying unwanted foreign invaders in the human body and eliminating them as efficiently and as fast as possible. That brings us to the end of this very short discussion on the differences between innate and adaptive immune systems. Remember, both the innate and adaptive immune systems work hand in hand to eliminate foreign microbes. All in all, to keep us safe and well protected from dangerous, life-threatening microorganisms. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave any questions in the comment section below and support this channel by liking and subscribing. Until next time, all the very best.